Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Ivan of Plotted Studios and today we are going over the next product in our video series, the F609 tube preamp. The F609 is a professional tube microphone preamplifier using two double triodes, a 12AU7 and a 12AX7 inside a single 500 series module. It provides 160 volts in line to avoid starving the tubes. That being said, another amazing feature of the F609 is that it also has two transformers, one input and one output, and both of them are American made. Think of the 70s consoles of the era. Some notable features of the F609, similar to the F601 or the Gold series in general, is that from the top of it, you have a VU meter. Then moving down on the right side, you have a clip indicator that will begin displaying the red LED at plus 24 dB overall. The maximum headroom is plus 26. Then you have 70 dB of gain on tap on a multi-selector. That way you could get the precise input that you need at all times. Then moving forward, you have a 20 dB pad on a selectable switch. You have P48 fan and power directly next to it so the power condenser mics or some active ribbons or other microphone types that may require phantom power. Now, you also have a polarity switch to invert that 180 degrees. Moving forward, you have a low cut filter that is selectable between 50 hertz and 100 hertz, or you could just bypass it and have it go full range, which is also 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz at a plus or minus one dB increment. Moving a little further on the bottom of the F609, you have the output knob. This is not stepped and it will always be recalled when you power the device back on. You also have a standby switch. When you have it flipped up and you see the green light on, you know that the tubes are ready to go and you could begin using this F609. However, when you switch it off, you'll actually see a amber light that comes on and that means that the tubes are no longer in the active circuit and are not being powered on. This is great because if you have a rack unit that your, for instance, the Bento 8 Pro is connected to at all times, you can't really go in the back of it and physically turn it on and off as needed. So by having the standby switch, you power off the tubes and you actually preserve the life of the tubes because it's not gonna be 24 seven voltage. Now you also have a DI input at the very bottom of the F609. This is over 500 kilo ohms of input impedance and that allows you to use active pickups, passive pickups for any instrument that you use, whether the high gain, low gain, and it will just across the board work perfect. However, you, you should keep in mind that if you do use the DI, it will automatically bypass the microphone preamp that you have it connected to. This is just to ensure that you only have one device being ran through the F609 at any given time. That being said, let's actually go ahead and dig in and listen to all of the audio samples. Once again, we have drums, bass, guitars, and vocals.
it's going to be I got plans to make. Can't stop this from going down. We're living, laughing, loving. We be bouncing around. Party like the end of time. Spending too much money getting out of our minds. Raise your glasses to the sky. And here's to the life that we're living tonight. Ride that high. Wondering what it's gonna be, I got plans to make. Can't stop this from going down. We're living, laughing, loving, we be bouncing around. Party like the end of times. Spending too much money, getting out of our minds. Raise your glasses to the sky And here's to the life that we're living tonight Ride that high Wondering what it's gonna be I got plans to make can't stop this from going down. We're living, laughing, loving. We be bouncing around. Party like the end of times. Spending too much money getting out of our minds. Raise your glasses to the sky. And here's to the life that we're living in night. Ride that high. So as a recap, with the drum section of the video, we had the room mic on three instances. The first was how I would normally record it. The second was the input overload. So really using that, I'll put the the um, tubes and finally the output so basically i would just gain the input and then lower the output and then the second one i would do the inverse at a lower input and then i would gain the output for the guitars i just went direct in found a good usable tone um i didn't worry too much about like overdriving that just because i wanted to get that glassy town that glassy sound that a tube is known for and really what this f609 can do so well it's something i really enjoyed and then same thing with the um, the vocal microphone what i did is similar to the drums i did just the standard how i would track it input overload and then output you could kind of see the waveforms on the dom using which is reaper the video format or the audio format i should say is 96k 24 bits if you guys want the audio please let me know However, with this section, really my kind of final thoughts for the F609 is that you can't go wrong with it, honestly. There are so many high quality 500 series modules and I can't see any spot where you shouldn't have a Fredenstein. I mentioned many times before that the other preamp I was using, which is a UA6176, is no longer a part of my signal flow it's no longer a part of my signal chain and it's more of an extra microphone input at this point because the f609 when you do a direct comparison that 610 module in the ua6176 it just can't compete i i've compared it with everything i did bass guitars vocals drums you really can't beat the f609 i mean just the fact alone that you could put it in a 500 series rack like this Bento 8, it, it's really hard to compete with that. I mean, you have two tubes. It's a full discrete circuit. You're running the gold series standard for Fredenstein, and honestly, you can't really go wrong with it. I played around with it a lot. I tried to hate it, 
And even having this switch up here, I don't know if you could see that off camera, but this standby switch is so great because I would have many sessions where I would just leave the entire module on. And ideally that's what I would, I would end up doing. I would put it on my rack and I would actually just run it to my Furman power conditioner. Most of the time my gear is left on and being able to turn off the tubes is just a lifesaver. And it just means that the long-term use for that tube is much more because if you leave it on 24 seven, the life expectancy of the tube runs down. And if you're only turning it on as needed and with the way the voltage runs for the F609, you have maybe a 30 second window that you have to wait when you first turn on either the rack or the module. And then you kind of hear a click. Um, I don't know if that was intentional or not, but you generally will hear a little click noise. It's a digital, it's part of the, uh, the gold series. It's kind of like an all systems go kind of click. You'll have that green light go on and then you're ready. So besides having like maybe a 30 second startup, I mean, by the time it takes the mic, the guy singing or wherever you're recording to get anywhere near ready, you'll already have the module ready to go. So I don't see a reason where you can't use it or why you can't use it, but honestly, I think it's perfect. I've, I mean, there's so many things you can do with it. It's, it has the polarity, it has a 20 dB pad, it has a max output range of 26 dB. I mean, it's just ridiculous. And I just, I love it. I, I, I truly love it. I've, like I said, I have so many mic pre's. I have from the Focusrite stuff to the Universal Audio stuff to even my console, which is a Carvin 80s era, 1073 pre's. I, I mean, I've tried as many as I could. And when I received this rack, honestly, I've been so impressed by everything. And we'll go more into the rest of the, the modules in it, but the F609, hands down, I believe is by far and away the best tube microphone preamp you could ever honestly own. The only thing better would be if you have their $2,000 Fredenstein preamp, but that is $2,000 and it's not an $800 to $1,000 wherever you're located. Um, it, it's it's insane. I, I love it. Thank you to everyone, and in our next video series presentation, we will be going over, take a wild guess. Thank you again. My name is Ivan. Um, have a wonderful day, and we will see you again next time. Thank you.